Hey, I'm Sean, Echoes of Eternity Bourbon. It's the weekend. My wife's out of town in Vegas. My son's spending the night off. What can go wrong? I've got bourbon in a video camera. Let's see what we got. talk about toasted there's two different ways that you can talk about toasted one you've had a few too many bourbons the second is how is your bourbon aged so is it aged in a secondary barrel which would be a toasted barrel or did it actually um, start its life in a toasted barrel and acquire its all of its flavors through the toasted barrel uh, generally when bourbon is started it started in a charred uh, barrel which is uh, handled at the, by the coopers, depending on the manufacturer and how they want the char level to be. Um, the char is, is one of four levels, one being the lightest char, four being the heaviest slash alligator char. Um, the purpose of the char is to add different uh, colors, flavors. Um, generally, you're getting more of the caramelization and the sugars from the wood from the chars. Now, the toasted barrel is different. The coopers usually aren't toasting it to a heavy char. What the, what's happening there is they're actually, there's a toast of the barrel. It's at a lower heat over a longer period of time. That you, but So you won't get some of the different sugars with the toasted barrel. Um, you won't get some of the other expressions and deep caramelization. You'll get a lighter um, amber color most of the time when you go with a toasted barrel, if it's moved strictly into a toasted for, uh, for the timetable that it's gonna be in that barrel. A lot of times they're moved from a charred barrel and finish in a toasted barrel, which gives a little more complexity and maybe some different lighter flavors to the bourbon. So the reason we're going over toasted today is a friend of mine and asked, hey, what is the difference between this Elijah Craig toasted and this uh, Woodford Reserve double oaked? And I said, you know, it's a good question. Why don't I add a couple extras into the equation and I'll have four out here and we'll have a good time with it. So the first one we're gonna go over today is we got the Penelope. This is a barrel strength um, toasted. This is also a store pick. Um, it's coming in at 115 proof. You know, this may not be available in everyone's area. And for that, I'm sorry, not sorry about that. I'm fortunate enough to have it, but you know, I'll give you my opinions of it and you can tell me, Sean, you sucked or wow, okay, that's cool. But you have to remember everyone's palate is different. Everyone experiences and tastes things different. And sometimes one day you'll like it and the next day you won't. But We'll see what Penelope has for us today. You get some caramels. You get uh, some vanilla, some of the campfire on this a little bit. Getting some marshmallow on this. Not getting a whole lot of the proof on this, so let's give it a taste. It has a nice little spice to it. You can feel it burning down, warming up in your chest. Uh, a lot of caramel in here. Mm, nice soft finish on the back of the palate here. You get a little more deeper toffee in this. A little bit of the smoke on the back end. Not too heavy on the smoke. All in all, very good bourbon. Um, I like Penelope. Uh, it's something that I would recommend to people if they have the opportunity to get a bottle and try it out. See if it's something that you enjoy. Um, if you have an opportunity to get a pour somewhere, make, <clears throat> make sure that you like it prior to maybe investing into a bottle. Or if you have a friend that's got a sample and want to trade out some samples. Another excellent way to maybe see if it's something you like before you invest because this bottle is going to run about $80, between $75 and $80 is where I've, where I've seen this at. Um, the Elijah Craig Toasted, same price point. You're looking about $75 or $80 for it. People ask or are curious, why is this? You know, this one right here is 
94 proof, I believe. Yeah, 94 proof in the last, well, it's the same proof point as, you know, your standard Elijah Craig or, you know, even their Rye 94 proof. Why is it so much more? There's an extra cost into having the toasted barrels. There's extra manpower involved with it and extra barrels involved to finish it off. So there's extra cost. And these are a little bit harder to find too. A specific deal, specifically the Elijah Craig toasted. A lot of people really like it. So let me give you my uh, thoughts on it, I guess. Getting more of a light vanilla in this one. I actually smell more of the alcohol in this than I did in the Penelope, which is kind of off because there's about 20 proof points difference. Let's give it a taste. Even though you smell a little bit more of the alcohol up front, it's a lot smoother, um, very easy in the mouth, good mouth feel on this. Um, we get a lot of toasted marshmallow. You get some graham cracker when you, when you drink it. You get some chocolate. And so this is very, very smooth. You get a, a lot of the milk chocolate working through the back of your palate. Very nice. I think on a, a short video I talked about this the other day, kind of reminds me of uh, like you're sitting there and, and you have a s'more. <laughs> Somebody just kind of like drinking a little bit of a s'more. You can get the marshmallow, you can get the chocolate, you can get the graham cracker. Extremely smooth, even though with the, with the, with the nose you're getting a little bit of the alcohol, you're not getting it in the mouth. You're getting a lot of smooth, very nice, subtle flavors with it. So I, I really enjoy it. I'm interested to see how it stands up for this is the last two here. Um, what surprised me on this is you don't get the alcohol up front, but you do get the nice burn of the Penelope on the back. But uh, let's see what the next one's got. And this is the Nulu. Um, and this is available only in Georgia. Uh, so this is at 118 proof, so higher proof point than all the others. Uh, it's non-chill non filtered, a toasted small batch. Uh, this will be my first experience with this Nulu toasted. So uh, let's see what, uh, what we got on here. I'm getting a lot of chocolate heavy up front. Some vanilla, but uh, man, I'm still getting a lot of that chocolate in this one. A lot of chocolate caramel in this. A very sweet, um, and that's something you don't get with a lot of toasted. Just this one has a lot of sweet to it. Uh, even though it's heavier in proof, I'm not getting a lot of that chest burn or that nice bloom in the chest. It's very easy sipper, um, very easy to go down. This one's, I think, at the 85 to 89 dollar price point on this, so it's a little bit more expensive than your Elijah Craig and your Penelope. But this is a very easy drinker. Second chew, I'm getting a, a little bit more of the oak, a little bit of bitterness from the chocolate. Still very good, very easy to drink, something very enjoyable, something I would uh, definitely recommend. Um, so the point of this video, when my friend asked the other day, he says, what's the difference between these two? You know, and he was, he was really curious about it. And so the last one is gonna be our Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Um, this comes in at a lower price, about 20 bucks lower. Um, than the other three here. Um, and it's a lot more readily available where this is Georgia market only, and this is a store pick. Uh, and Penelope uh, cast strength is a little bit harder to find. Um, and even the Elijah Craig is a little bit more difficult to find. This Woodford uh, Reserve Double Oak, I see in a lot of places. This is something that uh, I've had on my bucket to, okay, get to it, but since I saw it so frequently, I was grabbing other things that I really thought I can always come back to get this. So I'm really curious to see how it stacks up versus the first three toasteds. So let's give her a smell. Now 
you a cherry right off the bat on this. Cherry, vanilla, um, some dark chocolates, dark chocolate on this, almost a little bit of the cordial smell. A little bit of the oakiness in here. Um, let's give it a taste, see what it's got. Man, that's good. That's, that's milk chocolate cordial smoothness. I mean, you're not getting a lot of burn in this. You're not getting a super heavy finish on this. Very pleasant, light finish on this. But I get a lot of milk chocolate, a lot of cherry cordial, a little bit of vanilla in there. A um, little bit of maybe bacon spice, some, some nutmeg maybe in there too, but not heavy, not heavy on the finish at all. Oh, man, I guess the proof is on this because this drinks really easy. This is only 90.4 proof. So that's one of the reasons that this is drinking a lot easier. But this is a very crushable bottle. And what I mean by crushable, I can see myself drinking a lot of this really quick because you're not feeling the burn and you're getting a lot of great flavor out of this. So if you get something like this, just be careful. You could be into a few glasses pretty quick. All of these toasted barrels I'm very excited about. Um, I'm glad I had the opportunity to talk about them today. The price point on this, though, is outstanding. It's a little more readable, ready, readyable, and available. Um, and I would say that if you had the opportunity and you haven't had the Woodford Reserve Double Oak, pick yourself up a bottle. Um, it's well worth it. Um, I believe that uh, you would find this is something that you could have for a, a Friday night pour or a special occasion pour. And most people that are maybe even new to bourbon would enjoy this because it's not going to be overpowering. The other three are a little bit harder to get, a little higher price point. Um, really surprised at the sweetness on the Nulu. That was a pleasant surprise for me because most of the toasteds aren't going to be as sweet as they are. So very excellent job there. Um, but these two you probably have an opportunity to find, but it'll be a little bit harder. But I would make that more of a special occasion type of a pour and less. Um, you have this incredible bourbon collection and you're like, you know, uh, these are something I can drink a little more of, of on a daily or a weekly basis. But that being said, this is our toasted series for this week. Uh, I certainly appreciate you sticking this long in the video. Um, if you find this interesting, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you find interesting or other things that you would like to see. So I can maybe have the opportunity to share that with you. And if you find any other good toasted bourbons out there that are something I'm missing the mark on that just doesn't work for your palate, let me know. I'd love to try them. But uh, I'm Sean, Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. You all have an amazing night. Thank you.